We've got this engine uh, pretty much ready to start the final assembly point, but one of the one big, big, big thing that you need to do is prime the oil system. Uh, it's often overlooked. A lot of guys will just use the starter to do it, but if you do that, you're actually turning the engine over, turning the, the, all the bearing surfaces over um, to try and get oil to those bearing surfaces that you want to protect. So a better way to do it is to use an oil pump. Uh, I mean, it's just a drive tool is all it is because the oil pump in this case drives off the distributor. Um, you can buy a special tool like that. Um, mine that I have right here, um, it was 1985. I was in high school shop class and uh, we had an engine about to this point and the shop instructor came by and said, did you prime the oil system? And we all looked at each other and said, did we what? So he said, you got to prime that oil system or you're going to burn up some bearings or you could burn up some bearings. Um, so I said, well, how do you do that? And he said, go down and talk to the motor shop, see if you can get the special tool that you need to, to turn that oil pump without turning anything on the engine. So I went down to the motor shop, and uh, he had, he had a, a tool that looked similar to this. Um, it wasn't this exact one, but he said, you can buy one, but it's like $20, um, and that was 1985. That was a lot of money back then. So anyway, he said, just take an old distributor, cut the top off, drive the gear off, and use that. And I said, well, I have an old distributor because we put a, an Excel distributor system in that, in that particular car. So I went home that night, got my old distributor, took it back to shop class the next day. We drove the pin out and knocked the gear off and took a hacksaw and cut the top off. So almost 30 years later, uh, I still have it, welded a nut on there so we could drive it with an air tool. So anyway, what we're going to do with this is we're going to drop it down into the distributor hole, and we're going to put an air wrench on there and just spin it up. And then just for, just for this... I mean, the only reason we did this, put this gauge in here, we put an oil pressure gauge in here, just so we can make sure we got oil pressure going everywhere it needs to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that thing in there and spin it up. And we'll be able to watch the gauge. So that'll drop in. Okay, so we're in there. I'll just take an air wrench. Yeah, we were getting about we were getting about 10 pounds of 10 pounds of oil pressure so I know the oil's moving through this thing I'm gonna go ahead and run this for about 15 seconds or so just to make sure oil gets everywhere it needs to go uh, and then I'm gonna pull that out and we'll be ready to drop the distributor in <laughs> 